Today I just woke up and I felt I need to talk about relationships and particularly I'm just going to talk about you know that awkward moment when you're like proposing to someone and you're like will she reject me will she accept me and then you're a bit stuck and then you're like I'm finished so yeah that awkward moment also happened to me I had that one girl that I feel uh -huh, she's my all in all and I said let me give it a try of course success rates at 50 rejection rates are also at 50 so you're just there in the middle and then I'm like if she says yes then we'll, we'll and good but now if she says no I'm finished so I had to first google ah because she there's that time when she's in the middle whether to say yes or not to say or to say no so then what i was eh, then i was praying and i said ah, let her say yes let her say yes let her say yes uh, and after she saw the message she read it and kept quiet never said anything not even a single word eh, my heart was so down i started thinking eh, now what have i done maybe over it's too early oh it's too late i was so div devastated and i said what am i going to do you know i even had food but i even failed to eat and this thing is very serious i hear people saying it eh, i have food but i can't eat i'm heartbroken i'm heartbroken I was so down. I said, ah, and I began checking, checking the phone. Ah, you said men are simps. Mm -hmm. That's when I realized that eh, men are simps. <laughs> eh, because we are, we are supposed to, of course, you have to comply with her wishes. So for me, I prefer having someone who presents her needs first. What I want, I know it's what you also want. But what you want, I may not know. That's why I have to propose, I have to ask what you want. What do you expect in case your needs are not met? Or we're having any issues. What are we going to do? So, after like one hour, she reads the message. And I was, yes, waiting to see if she's typing it was via whatsapp eh, and she doesn't say anything eh, i felt like crying but tears were not there i felt like dying but i couldn't i still have dreams and ambitions to accomplish so what i decided to do was to first switch off the phone because i said no my phone is a business phone whereby I usually receive call. I, I usually receive calls for. I need your help. Help me. Send. It's like I'm like a virtual assistant. In simple, in other words. So. I said, what am I going to do? Because you cannot. I said, eh, let me send a next message. Oh, let me say I'm sorry, for. Making the move so fast. Because you may remain with a burning desire and you fail to say what you want then i said let me leave her after like three hours because i know she was thinking about it she never expected it but for me i said ah i will not die with the feelings for me if i feel something it's here i have to tell you that's obvious so i went there hey i sent her the text and i said yeah and she was like, are you proposing? Yes, I am. And I sent that guy emoji when I'm on, on one knee. Proposing. So the message first kept like three hours without even saying a word. She was online, she was doing her stuff. She never even posted anything. Eh? She was in shock. Because these days men are not courageous. Getting that confidence to propose to someone in this economy. 
Hey, this hash economy. Ah, but I, I had the bows and I gathered the strength. Ah, sweet. And I'm also there. Yes, I'm on Y1. I'm proposing. Can we? <sighs> kept quiet, kept quiet. After the three hours had elapsed. Ah, she sends a message. Laughing. Ah. Oh, I feel like headache. I said what? I'm proposing and you're just sending laughing emojis. And I said it's okay. And after, she sent a message. You're kidding. I saw the message and I was like, I'm kidding. No, I'm serious. But of course, I'd already got in a second thought and I was like, yeah, maybe I'm not the one. Maybe she's seeing someone. Maybe I'm too. Maybe I'm not her type. But I was like, I'm not her type. What are you talking about? I'm her type. I'm even beyond her type. I have everything. I have the confidence. I have the vibe. So then why not? I said, why not? I'm the one. Then, uh, ah, but I said, ah, it's fine. Ah, that's what I said, it's fine. And it's okay. Because I don't want to push someone and we want to push for a relationship when someone is not interested. And you try to make it work. And it doesn't work. And you'll be like, ah, you're the one who forced me. Yet for me, I was not ready. So what I decided was to, yeah, say it's okay. Maybe... Maybe I'm not the one, I'm not the Mr. Right. But I said no. No, 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 no. I'm the one, I'm the one, I'm the one, I'm the one. Then she asked, Are you okay? Are you sure you are okay? And I said, I'll be fine. Because I know she knows why I'm not okay. Because I'm not okay, I'm not okay, I'm not okay. And she said, okay, good night. Ah, and I also said, likewise. And I, eh, I slept, but I felt as if I was sleeping in, in water, in, on a wet bed, over bed waiting. Hey! <laughs> you know, feeling the night and you even feel the mosquitoes. The mosquitoes was I can't even feel when the mosquito is breathing. <laughs> I was like, ah. The night was very long. That's when you feel like crying, but you can't cry. You feel like asking, what, what's wrong? Please tell me. Oh, searching on Google. What does it mean? Because you have that Cora. Anyone can ask uncoordinated question and be like ah in case i go for a job and i don't have qualifications how do i pass the interview and i'm like how can you go for a job which requires papers and you don't have those papers and you also want to pass the interview like how which connections do you have with the with the organization so that's the nonsense i usually see there but though there are some content that you can find that is very educational. So what I decided was to look and type. And if a girl, if a man, because I'm the man, if I'm, I propose to a, a lady and she doesn't respond, what does that mean? Or how do I respond? Oh, and I saw very many wonderful insights like if she, if she doesn't respond maybe she's shy maybe she's not ready or maybe she's pushing up with someone so she wants you to be on the waiting list ah waiting list who me no for me when i want i want it right now that's why i first ask you are you dating someone if you're dating someone i'll be like oh i'm sorry or i'll tell you how are you going to balance the boat? 
because here you have me and here you have your boyfriend so are you going to dump your boyfriend or you're going to dump me or you want us both of course someone who is into the relationship will be i want to remain with my boyfriend but if your boyfriend is mistreating you and i'm there well and good i may save you from that boring relationship because i got the vibe so what i decided i saw all the google stuff all the quora stuff ah. then i just left it because eh, i even felt hot but in fact it was even raining that's what we call pressure after pressure <sighs> what am i going to do i sat i looked i looked i looked and i said no 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 i'm a man and men are warriors being a warrior is one thing but also warriors die in battle so what was i going to do it was very simple yeah but just to yeah just sit sit and wait wait for the response from her if the response is good then well and good if it's bad well and good also because you don't have to put all your eggs in one basket but i may put all my eggs in one basket because you don't know what may come because for me if all my a hundred i don't enter into a relationship and i'm like no i've changed my mind oh now the feelings and i know i enter all the fit into the relationship so the following morning i never texted her and i i just left it like that and i was like yeah it's okay it's okay it's okay brian be a man be a man oh be a man i never felt what i'm eating is even becoming becoming sour <sighs> and i was like jesus christ please help me jesus christ help me and i said let me leave the person and i be forcing her into something that she's not prepared to enjoy maybe she's not seeing that 10 years from now i'm somebody she's not seeing the dream or maybe she's running after someone who is promising her something which in return may not bring any money because now someone can whip you around 30,000, 50,000, can make hair, can make nails. But the person is not into marriage, doesn't see you in the future, like a future partner, future soulmate. Yeah, that's the stuff. Because, yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm 23 and my birthday is on, on 19th December this year, just around two months to the end of the year. And I'm um, yeah, I'll be making 24. So I'm at a, I'm at the point of my life where I need someone who is in serious, committed relationship. I mean, to commitment, not just hit and run. Because this age is, this age from 20 to 30, just hit and run, hit and run, hit and run. So for me, I want to change that narrative and I'm like, yeah. If I'm to fall in love with you, we agree. It, and we shall make it last. If it's communication, you have to communicate. If it's care, attention, everything, I'm ready to give it. If it's supporting financially, well and good, I'll do my best. And I'll make sure you'll not want anything that I can provide. So, ah, the morning reaches. And I ignored her for around 12 hours because the day has 24 hours, 12 hours, 12 hours, 12 hours, and I'm like, what am I going to do, what am I going to do? Because I'm missing her because after proposing, even if she says no, 
well and good. I wouldn't want to to make it as if it's a if you don't love me, then I hate you. No. I say no 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 no. It's not right. If you're a man and you know what you want, even if they reject your proposal at one point or another, you can still get up and be like yes thank you for rejecting me but i prefer you telling me yes or no but she never responded if you just responded i think you're kidding yet i wasn't so i also gave her the silent silent treatment silent treatment silent treatment silent treatment silent treatment ah uh-uh, but after two hours 12 hours i said no 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 enough is enough I may love you and I'm in love with you and I won't pretend as if because you not responding to me or not taking me serious I will stop there I say no 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 I won't so I I inboxed her and I said hey yeah and she also responded, hello, how are you? I'm missing you. And I was like, wow, you're missing me. Mm. And I said, eh, you're missing me. Let me first think to it. Uh, I felt like I was also saying, I miss you too. But I said, mm. you're missing me. Because this was the first time. Ah. And they also felt good, I think she had accepted my proposal because it's very hard to to refuse my proposal when i'm into you and i know i'm right (laughs) Ah. later on i also responded you're kidding and she sent me emoji eyes (laughs) that's when i knew she was serious Yes, I knew she was serious. She loves me and I also love her back. Yeah. And I was successful. Even that Google advice, uh, it, it did not work. Because people need some time. Some time to first think through if it is worth. Because entering into a relationship, a man you can enter into a relationship with any woman as long as because for us you're just attracted once you're attracted you say eh? ah yeah 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 how can i you see and the eyes are but a woman will be like mm? let me think about it i'll get back to you so that was the that was the thing yeah and she said yes 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 i felt so happy he was the happiest man alive. And I was like, eh? As you see Flash telling you that I'm the fastest man alive. For me, I was the happiest man alive. Yes. Happiest man alive. Eh? It was something so incredible. She said yes. Ah, ah so we... Yeah. And she accepted and I also said yes. And even the messages that took place after the proposal, they are good. They are, they are good and they are very good. I'm so happy. But the only lesson I learned is to be patient. You may want someone very fast and that someone is not yet into you so you can just take it slow even if you put in your proposal you don't have to draw draw away that you want to you want the person if if they say no you're going to become enemies because i think you all want for want the best for each other and by wanting the best for each other i don't think you would want your partner to be hurt by your silent treatment if 
even if things don't go as expected at least communicate so that someone may know yeah you may have refused my proposal but we can still remain friends though there are some internet advices you say advices yes that english is correct yeah that advices whereby they tell you ah what she says no make her your enemy block her don't like her photos don't show that you don't even care ah non contact ah that things we are all humans and also we all wish the best for each other you cannot expect bad or you cannot wish someone bad after you had made plans you're going to build a house together you're going to have children together you're going to have a vacation together the honeymoons together and everything figured out and you spend all the rest of your life together and because she has said and then you and then you're like eh, ah, ah, i don't like her i hate her and you even start sending mean comments really because now you have to balance the two you have to see through whether to remain with the person or not remain with the person but for me my advice would be remain with the person people change and people you may see someone having as you see you for you imagine you think the relationship is all good but when someone is just suffering in that relationship then what else do I even want do I want to talk about yeah there is also what they call the dark past though I'll make another video about it about the dark past this this is this is something all these are a bunch of scenarios that transpired in your partner's life and left her into depression anxiety and she feels relationships are not happening and or yeah it may not be her it even it may even be the man and and you feel that no 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 even if i feel i'm in love i'll say no because you know that all men once you once in the past you had broken you think even this one in the present will have will give you a heartbreak even in the future will give you a heartbreak so as the, so the cycle continues so some people say no because they feel they are not ready because relationships need commitment they require time they require attention they require care they require support so if if i'm the one and i have that trait ah, what i'm even trying to use it's not even coming out tragic yes the word is tragic so there was a tragedy uh-huh yes from tragic means tragedy so if there was a tragedy in the past and i need to heal and i'm not fully healed because if i was cheated on in the previous relationship and i feel that i want to i want to have some time to heal and after healing that's when i'm going to come come back get get myself ready and enter into another relationship so i can get a partner and he or she i'm speaking on as a counselor then and i'll be like i'll be like i need you to help me to heal i have my dark past and i feel i'm not ready for any relationship at the moment i feel i'm broken I'm, i was heartbroken and i feel i wasn't giving my best in that relationship so what should i do yeah if it's me i would just help you and we see how we are going to do it because someone who has some issues we don't 
pass on judgment to someone because of some issues and you're like ah, ah for me i don't people who are who are like that pass on judgment and be like hey because relationships need some secrets so those are some of the secrets that your partner can share and will be like i'm not okay that thing triggers me so then why do you on the other hand why do you need to sort of force him to escape from that thing that is triggering him or her so you can help the person to heal slowly by not forcing her because the moment you start forcing her and maybe she has like something that happened and it's it was nasty or it ended in tears and you want to force the person ah, ah you go for it you go for it no that's not the right way of doing things the right way of doing things is just to listen to her be there communicate be supportive ah because in this world we all come from different backgrounds cultural heritage ethnicity races religion and we are all coming together and we don't know what happened in our previous lives because for me i come from a very humble background that's what i'll always tell you in all my videos but i decided that i need to be somebody mistakes that were made by my parents should not affect my my future because i have to make a future that is so bright so that my children because if i never studied from harvard or oxford at least i would wish my children to study from harvard or oxford why because we want some we, we i would expect the next generation to be better than this generation even if there are some issues whereby you're saying ah this is a rotten generation this they are only seeing the negative in this generation but this is a generation which has uplifted the youth those are young people who are out there and they are doing something they are making the businesses they are doing the adverts they are speakers they can even speak they can even make those videos those tiktok videos and you see someone talks as an expert but this is just someone who is just not even not even the right age to start making videos you see the kid is just eight years but can sing and you feel wow that is somebody who is doing something so i don't think this generation has an issue though we have some mm, you also know we have some issues with some people but the majority are good you can find someone who is a social media manager and can even make make the editing ah post something it goes viral manages manages those celebrity accounts and someone will be like eh, but how, how how comes that this person is always posting stuff yet um yet the person in actual sense is very lazy because for me i see those artists those musicians and they are like after the song goes viral, skyrockets, ah, gets mental health, gets depression, gets very fat. Sorry for, I'm not just, I'm not a person who is into body shaming, but yeah, that one I'm just using it as, as an example. Because I know people who watch my videos, they're not just slim people, they can even be fat people, they can be anyone. And I appreciate you for that so what i was talking about i was relating into person being a what a a social media manager those youth because as a because we have some celebrities who we well, won't mention it mention names because yeah they come from far some 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 are not even educated to 
reach college, reach campus, or even finish high school. They just dropped up and said, I'm going to pursue my passion. Then in pursuing their passion, that's when, ah, they are like, yes, and I'm meant to sing. One, one, two songs, ah, viral. Two, ah, then the third song, ah, it doesn't make a hit. So what, what next? That's when you see someone is into mental health issues, depression, each and everything. So then, ah, that's when you hire this teen and it's like, ah, for me, I'm good at that. I have the time and I know the algorithm I can put those hashtags, I know those trading sounds to make your videos go go viral. Yeah, so because for me I saw an artist and I was like, eh, Jesus Christ, I thank God that we are all alive. The artist, yes, couldn't perform his best song. He has certain illness that I never seen in my entire life and it's very strange and within very few years I don't he will be out of music now his career is now very devastating it's in a devastating state <sighs> I watch the videos because you know he got a social media manager just a youth someone who handles his social media